throttled by Lucas Perry. Oh, on the front end of the break. Reverse. Yep. Tip and play. Get a basket on the transition a little earlier because Powers didn't get back. Back at you, says Powers. One shot. And the improvisation in midair by Shane Morton. Very, very impressive. And the three-point finish. Eight points for Shane Morland. All the dishes off to Dover. That's blocked by O'Brien. Here comes Powers. Dover not able to play with the same strength that Repose does when he gets the ball low. A no look pass from Morland. Well, another basket coming in transition, getting back late. And sometimes you can use that block too much. You become to depend on it, and you're not going to block every shot. The way now. This is Perry into the paint. Shane Morland for three. Yes. Excellent drive and kick. Superb shooting ability by number two, Shane Morland. Fearless has been capable all season. And dependable with that jumper. That due to shot. Rebounded to Shane Moore. Inside it goes to Patrick O'Brien. Draws the foul. Not a traditional fast break team, but an optimistic one. In other words, if it's there, they'll take it. You must get back. Patrick O'Brien thought about it. Patrick Lucas Perry will take it. And it's tipped up and in by Shane Moore. Calling Shane Moyles in a lot earlier as he's doing everything, rebounding, scoring. In and out, back to Moore. This probably won't go. And it's rebounded by Moore. After the big start to the Chargers. Moore goes 6'2, but obviously plays taller because he is willing to go in there and mix it up and come away with key rebounds. He is feeling it. He is. And has he broken a sweat yet? 11 points for Shane Morland, including a three at the horn. And Flint Powers Catholic Central has an 18-14 lead over Lansing Catholic. Each of these teams trying to raise the big wooden mitten as they champ for the first time in school history. Flint Powers comes away with it. Almost over in fact. Morland peels out against Paul. Pulls up. And a foul underneath. Well first in the art of basketball and shooting of the basketball. There's Morland with a takeaway. Goes with it. It was an easy turn catch and layup for repose. Nice pass from O'Brien to Moore. O'Brien made up for it quickly though, didn't he? One-handed bounce pass to a cut of Shane Morland. Morland's very active, moving without the basketball. Keeping himself a threat out on the floor to do damage. Good game. Let's see if Flint Powers is able to push the pace a little bit, force some turnovers, and get their running game running. And that's where they are right now. Lucas Perry. Got it. And that's how you do it. And another nice pass inside from Moreland. Shane to Patrick Lucas Perry, and they were able to convert. Balance jumper won't go. Rebound inside by Morland. Tapped up and in. Second crack at. He's a quick leaper. A couple of times now he's been able to get off the floor twice while everybody else is jumping once. Just a junior is Shane Morland. Separation right now. Morland almost cracked in the corner. Take it away. Morland to O'Brien. A lot of block shots, a lot of strips, a lot of deflections, takeaways. And forced to retreat well out beyond that three-point line for a while there. Nichols almost rebounded his own miss. Behind the back goes Moreland. Guarded by the guy his teammates referred to as the little guy, Doug Hall. Moreland into the paint from the free throw line. Excellent split. Excellent split of two defenders there. And when you do that, very quickly, you will have numbers. You'll be unguarded with options. And the rock pulls us even. 
Free throw shootings are fundamental, and both these teams, they can do that as well. Stolen away by Bullock. To his brother. Yep. That's what Flint Patters wants to do. Force turnovers, and they did it again. Well, that time, Lansing Catholic falling asleep, tossing the ball in down. Rebound Moreland and Powers wants to run. Oh, what a nice look inside. Patrick O'Brien. Over there, you see everybody with a cup in their hand and they're drinking some water, trying to get fluids back into their system. Triple try and counts. Shane Moreland averages almost 20 a game. And his tray brings Powers back within one. Up by two is uh, Northern, but Powers has the basketball. Long triple by Shane Moreland. Down the board. That's, he's played a great first half. I really like his game right now. He's, he's moving without the ball. He's got a good handle. It's called climbs a little turnover. Stripped from behind that time. Moreland. Powers down three. First possession of half number two. They'll try a trade to tie it, and they do. Three for number two, Shane Moreland. Shane three. Moreland fouls up the quiet first half ten with a quick three. Well, this equals the largest lead of this ball game. Northern's led uh, its largest lead was six. Powers' biggest lead was three. So we have played it close the whole way. The drive by Lucas Perry. The bucket and the foul. Another triple try by Klein. This one's short off the rim, and it'll be a quick three on two break. Sorlin tried it once behind the back, and we got a whistle and a foul. And they will be well prepared playing in the, the big nine and the OK goal for the kind of fourth quarter we got coming. Final here in B is not going to be a game for the timid. It is, it's going to be physical, it's going to be tough. Got a lot of very athletic people from uh, Catholic Central, obviously, and either of these clubs. That's Shane Moreland with another tray. The tie at 47. He loves that tray in transition. That's two or three times he pulled up and shot that thing out of transition. He kept his feet underneath him. Great footwork, obviously, his dad has worked with him. Beautiful stroke. That sheet doesn't give you much of anything <laughs> to separate him. Both shooting 46% from the floor.